Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and I am so excited because I have dinner reservations at the 1900 Park Fair restaurant, the new recently reopened character dining buffet and I am so excited. I love this restaurant and I know that they changed the uh, menu and the characters are different but I've always thought this was the best buffet on Disney property so I want to come out and make a little video. On top of that I want to hang out at the resort a little bit, maybe hop over to Magic Kingdom and just have a fancy Grand Floridian kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day to be hanging out at the Grand Floridian. The temperatures are in the high 90s and it's just so amazing out. Clear skies and sunshine and I'm excited to eat some food. This restaurant has been closed for almost four years now, and it's now finally reopening, but with a completely different menu, new characters, and uh, it reopened when my family was on vacation, and I didn't come to cover it because I was hanging out with my family, but we did come for breakfast one morning because one of the characters is Maribel uh, from Encanto, and then they also have Aladdin, Cinderella, and Princess Tiana, and I came with my family so Ariel can see Maribel, but I didn't make any videos. I kind of just relaxed. So now I'm excited to come back for dinner, but buffet was fantastic and I loved it and I'm sure dinner is going to be just as good. Every time I come to the Grand Floridian, I always think of the episode of Full House where they came to Walt Disney World. I think it was the house meets the mouse. I pulled up a little video of them hanging out at the Grand Floridian to show you guys. Look at this. That's the Grand Floridian right there. And then Uncle Jesse just comes through the lobby and then he starts playing the piano like right in the middle of the lobby. Hey. Look at Becky! Yo, that is honestly nothing beats the, the 90s sitcoms. You can't get better than that. He pulls right up to the piano, right in the middle of the lobby there. <laughs> Uncle Jesse's the best. It seemed like in the 90s, every single family like TV show came to Walt Disney World for a vacation. Boy Meets World, Full House, Step by Step, uh, Family Matters. And I loved all of those episodes because I always wanted to come here and I never could. So it was like seeing your vacation in a TV episode. And I, I, let me know what your favorite like TV show was that went to Walt Disney World. I would have to say Boy Meets World for me or Full House. Those two were some of the best, like I said, uh, TV entertainment I think I've ever consumed in that one episode of full house i think they used this entrance as the main entrance so uh when i first uh came here i always thought this was the main entrance to the grand floridian because it's what i saw on the tv show but uh, it's probably because they were trying to like clear the guest area makes sense our reservation is in for another hour, so until then, I figured we'd just hang out at the resort. Maybe go wash our hands at Basin, check out the gift shop, maybe uh, hang out by the monorail. Kind of fancy things. Fancy things you do at the Grand Floridian, you know? Not to mention this smell. Oh boy, when I tell you, this Grand Floridian lobby is one of my favorite lobbies. It's just because it just feels so, so, so clean and it smells amazing. Oh, there it is. There's the piano Uncle Jesse was playing. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he probably could still come in and just do that. I mean, I would sit and listen. I came rushing back in because I started to hear the piano playing and I was hoping it was going to be Uncle Jesse and my dreams would come true. It's still beautiful. And 19 Hour Park Fair is on the first floor, but I kind of want to go up to Basin and wash my hands first. It's always good to wash your hands. Look at this. Oh, there goes the elevator. <laughs> Basin is a fancy soap store inside the Grand Floridian. And I don't know, every time I wash my hands, they just feel fancy. They feel better. They feel really smooth. So I always like to stop. They have a little wash station there, you know? Oh, there it is. Oh, fancy pants muggy. I'm going to wash my hands for free. Hey, how are ya? I think I'm gonna do pink sugar scrub. Got a ladder. Happy birthday three times. Now that our hands are nice and silky smooth, I think it's time to go check in at 1900 Park Fair. It's actually right here on the same level as the Grand Floridian Cafe. And it's really cool because they have the doors usually shut so you can't see what's going on in there. Oh, but they're open today. There it is. 
here it is the menu for 1900 park fair i love how they have a little uh, horse on the top there and it just looks magical and like i mentioned they have breakfast and dinner dinner is from 4 p.m to 9 p.m it comes with peel and eat shrimp grand floridian strawberry soup tiana's gumbo baked salmon a carbon station but i'll tell you that breakfast the beef and potato hash it's amazing and you can't go wrong and more information you can just uh i guess uh, scan that little code there the dinner buffet at 1900 Park Fair costs $66 for adults and $41 for our kids. And that includes your soft drinks, the buffet, and the character interactions. And like I mentioned, the characters have changed. And it's all about wish making and characters who have had a wish come true. So you have Aladdin, Cinderella, Princess Tiana, and Maribel. And even some of the food is themed after them. Like you have Tiana's gumbo in there. And I'm excited. I love gumbo and I love uh, the pink soup. It's like the most iconic thing. And I can't wait to show you guys. When you walk in the restaurant, you can see it's just so beautiful. And, uh, oh, Cinderella's right there. I see Maribel already. And then the buffet is over this way. Wow, looks so nice in here. We made it to the table, and I got this little nook here. And I'm excited because the buffet's right there. And they give you a little card that you write your wish on because later on they're going to have a wish making ceremony. And, uh, all the characters are just going to come up right here. Cinderella, Aladdin, Maribel. I got a fancy Arnold Palmer. Hey! Oh, oh hi, Maribel. I like this good glass of Ooh. It's, it's time for the wishing ceremony. Oh, wow. Yeah, you have to like write down the wish and then it's like going to come over. Or, or you can get a bad one. Oh, I got one. Save your family now. Wow, Alright, I got a good wish. I have to tell everyone it's time for the wish. Let's do it. I'll be back, you know, not for what. Hold your wish high in the air. That's it. Wish Rangers, go on and have a laugh if you need it. Oh, I'm up! Wow! Look at all those amazing, glittering wishes. Magnificent! After me, I wish my wish. Wish my wish. As wish makers do. As wish makers do. And believe in myself. Thank you, that was beautiful. I, I, I let everybody know it's time for the wishing ceremony. I love it. Now, what did you wish for? I, uh, you I wish... tell me, but don't tell the Lotus, because the Lotus will tell everyone it's time. I wished everyone to be happy. That's a good one. That's a good wish. That's that's way better than... It's than universal. My, ...the wish that I was going to write down, but I, I don't... You know, Maribel was so awesome, and I like that little wish-making ceremony, but now I think it's time to head up and uh, show the rest of the buffet and fix a plate. They have a little kid section with macaroni, meatballs, corn, and gummy bears. They have like a little gummy bear dispensary there. And then you got peel and eat shrimp over here, cocktail sauce, mixed greens, olives, a bunch of different uh, salad toppings there, potato salad, block broccoli slaw, some uh, dinner rolls, fruit, charcuterie, ooh, some focaccia. I do love me some focaccia. Oh, and then uh, looks like they've got... Oh, prime rib. Oh boy. Prime rib and I'm thinking maybe uh, turkey or pork. Is that pork? Uh, yes, this is ham. Oh, ham. Yeah. Oh, I'm all about that. On the other side, they usually have like matching like kid stuff, but they have a whole nother section over here. You got some pizzas, you got some chicken nuggets. Oh, here it is. Look at that chicken noodle soup. Oh, and gumbo, Tiana's gumbo. And then we've got some chicken and some uh, sausage, impossible sausage. Roasted garlic sausage. Oh. Mac and cheese, green beans, salmon and carrots, mashed potatoes, au jus, steak sauce. They got the works in here. And we'll get to the desserts later. I made my first plate. I got the prime rib, mashed potatoes, sausage, carrots, focaccia, and pink soup. Look at that. Usually this is like a dessert, but I was so excited to try it. But I forgot to add the whipped cream and strawberries, so I'm going to have to go back and get it. Oh, hi, Tiana. Now with a hat like that, you must be getting ready for a bad adventure. I am. I'm ready for an adventure. <laughs> I'm ready too. Oh. I think it's going to be a lot of fun getting to see all my animal friends again. 
Oh yeah. You must have a couple. Oh, I've got a lot of animal friends. Gracie, she's my dog. I love her. And then I got Lester. That he's a possum. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Now you know I have a possum friend named Bo. Oh, I do know that. You know what I'm excited for? Your man catching beignets. Well. I'm excited for the gumbo, Tiano's gumbo, but I, I just want some beignets. I think those beignets are going to be the bee's knees. Yeah. I meant to bring them with me today, but I think Lewis got to them before we could. I, I believe that. I guess when we go on the value adventure, I'll have to bring them there. Oh, <laughs> I'll see them there. Thank you. I'm so excited. Are you coming in June? I am. I'm so pumped. And I'm excited for the gumbo now and the beignets happening. I've been working on that recipe only my whole life. I'm all about it. <laughs> Tiana was so much fun, and I can't wait to go up and try the gumbo after I finish eating this. It's weird that I'm starting with the pink soup. <laughs> oh, hi, Cinderella. Yeah. Well, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Gus Gus, I said hi. <laughs> Appreciate it. Bye, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. Gus Gus is my favorite. <laughs> Yo, I was trying to eat the prime rib, and I felt embarrassed. I'm always, whenever I see characters, I'm afraid to, like, eat food, because I don't want them to come up, and then, like, I'm in mid-fight. And that almost happened with Cinderella, but I'm glad I stopped. I put that prime rib down. And here we go. <laughs> The seasoning on that prime rib is amazing. I love it. Oh, wow. And the mashed potatoes are good. Carrots are good. Now I want to get into the sausage and then try the focaccia. I'm going to have to wait. I didn't get up there to get that uh, whip, uh, the extra uh, uh, cream that you put in there and the strawberries yet. No joke. All of this food is amazing. It's so good. And I still got to go get the chicken noodle soup, the gumbo. There's so much I want to try. And we have to get to dessert. But like, I have to stop eating the prime rib. I'm gonna have to stop. Also, I think I just noticed I was using my knife backwards. <laughs> I, was, I was cutting it, but that just tells you it's good prime rib. I had to run out to the bathroom real quick, and I found out they have a little nice little outdoor area here, right attached to the 1900 Park Fair. I was eating my prime rib, and uh, I took a bite, and some of the juice fell on the shirt, so I ran to go get some water, because this is a Roosevelt shirt, so like the material, whenever you get anything on it, if you just put some water on it real quick, uh, the it doesn't stain. And I love this shirt. I don't want to mess it up. I have a link in the description for all of the shirts that I wear in my videos from Roosevelt, including mine. I have uh, my shirts, they restock, so you can actually get them they're available right now but now I want to show you how cool this is I didn't even know they had their own little bathroom out here we are right back in the front of the lobby and uh, they have like this little door here and at first I was like I don't know if I can go in here and uh, this leads right in the 1900 Park Fair and then I remembered they used to have Cinderella's like uh, slipper here and you used to be able to just uh, get a photo with the slipper and then you go back into the restaurant right here all right, now back to the soup business. Look at this. I got some chicken noodle soup right here. Look at the noodles and the chunks of chicken. And also, I seen that kid's macaroni up there, and I was thinking about grabbing some of those noodles and add it in there. And then you've got Tiana's gumbo with the jasmine rice. Look at that sausage. Oh, that looks so good. And then you've got uh, the strawberry soup. I was about to just take this spoon and put it in there, but I'm glad I didn't. I don't have, oh yeah, here's a fork. There's nothing else in there, but it's very delicious. I am a big soup guy, so give me a soup buffet or just a different variety of soup and I'll try all of them. And I think I'll start with the chicken noodle. Get a little noodle, get a little chicken on there. There you go. Good soup. Mm. Now we gotta try Tiana's, Tiana's uh, gumbo here. This soup right here, the chicken noodle soup is amazing. Look at that chicken, it's got some charness on it. But wow, I was not expecting to love the gumbo as much as I do. This is so good, and it has a little spice to it. So if you eat the gumbo, it's too spicy, then you try the ice cold strawberry soup afterwards. Now that we had the gumbo, I don't think strawberry soup first was a good idea, so that's why I waited to try it last. 
Uh, but here it is, strawberry soup. You know, it just tastes like like strawberry compo, but creamier. It's really good. I mean, I like it, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to have the strawberry soup. Like, when I'm here, I'm all for it, but I don't think I'd be, like, sitting at home going, mmm, strawberry soup. Now it's time to get to the desserts, even though I've already had the strawberry soup. You got toasted coconut cake, chocolate chip cookies, vanilla cup cake. Here's the strawberry soup and the extra whipped cream and the strawberries you put inside the soup. And then they have lava cake over here. Oh, look at that. Some of the white uh, chocolate sauce, lemon blueberry cheesecake, fudge brownie. And this one looks very fancy. The Grand Floridian Financier. Fancier? Financier? Financier? Oh, I gotta try this. I can't read that well, but I think I got it. And this looks so cool. It's even got the little GF point on there. Cheers to the fancier. The fancier. That is so good. And I got a little bit of this lava cake. Get a little of that, a little of that. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh. Well, that was amazing. I loved all of the food there. It was very loud, so it was hard to film because I think the room itself is just too tiny for that many people. And I still have to say, I think I don't think it's the best character buffet, but I think it's the best food. You know what I mean? I still think Chef Mickey's, just the amount of characters, the atmosphere, the uh, selection of food, I still think that's my favorite character dining buffet, but this one has the better food. Like, you know what I mean? I, I wish the room was a little bit bigger so more people were spread out the tables were a little bit on top of each other but the character interactions were amazing the food was phenomenal I mean honestly I can't tell which I love more between the chicken noodle soup and the gumbo but that gumbo that gumbo was hitting so good and the prime rib I shouldn't have eaten those three pieces in the beginning that's where I made a mistake because then I was like oh boy I want to try everything else but I'm kind of full on prime rib and now again uh, I guess maybe we'll go walk it off Maybe make a trip over to Magic Kingdom, do a little lap, and kind of just hang out and close it off there, you know? One thing I have to say about the Grand Floridian, they have so many things to do with this resort. They have two pools. They have Narcoose's, 1900 Park Fair, Grand Floridian Cafe, Citrico's, Victorian Alberts. They have like five different restaurants, two different quick services. They even have uh, like three different gift shops, even a fancy gift shop in here that sell like really fancy clothes and cologne and ties, business attire. And they usually have this little tea. Uh, they have like a little tea, uh, tea party here, but I don't think this opened back up yet. I don't think it did. Narcoose's is another good spot. I just like hanging out here. Like it's just beautiful walking along the little pathways here. I think we'll just take the monorail over to the Magic Kingdom. I don't want to be there all night. I just feel like since I'm here now and I don't have to park at the TTC, might as well go to Magic Kingdom just for a little bit, hang out, maybe ride a ride or two. Just, you know, take it all in and just relax. I have to apologize. This is not the way I imagined this video going, um, but I wanted to close out the video of Magic Kingdom, but I could I couldn't make it to Magic Kingdom. I'm uh, sad to share with you guys that I lost a very important person in my life, Steve, one of the co-founders of Roosevelt's, and um, it's heartbreaking. I am absolutely devastated, and I didn't know if I could post a video or you know talk about it um, because I I'm not processing it very well. I had a couple of days now to kind of mourn and you know get things situated for myself and I'm not going to be able to post any videos for the next couple of days so that's why I decided to um, you know put this video out and uh, have this ending so that I can let you guys know you know what is going on Steve was the best of the best he was the most amazing person that I've ever met and I've never felt so like hurt to the point that honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do you know uh, Steve came into my life a couple of years ago with Roosevelt's and you know I was 
you know, just an upcoming, up and coming YouTube channel. They were an up and coming clothing line and we just became great friends and eventually family. They're family to me, every single one of them. And losing Steve is just so heartbreaking. The world deserves to have more people like him in it and they need to have him. He was nothing but a beacon of light for me. He did so much for me. And like I said, it's not easy for me to talk about and I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I put myself kind of in a, a little bit of a predicament because I was working on this video and you know, hearing, you know, the news kind of just, you know, put me just down and I, I, I haven't been able to make any videos. And now I, you know, have to go and, you know, pay my respects to Steve himself. And um, the timing is on, I, I, it's, it's very unfortunate and I don't know what's going to happen for the next couple of days. Prior to Steve's passing, we were all going to London uh, for MCM this week. And um, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, part of me, you know, I, I, I don't feel comfortable going without him now. He was the first person to take me outside the country. I went to London with him last time. If you guys want to watch those videos, you can see how much of an amazing person he is. He was in my London videos. He was in my like Tokyo videos. We hung out at Magic Kingdom. He was, like I said, he was a brother. And it's... It's, it's difficult. I'm not too sure if we're going to continue. I feel like a part of me needs to do it because I know Steve would definitely want us to do it. Steve was such an amazing person and honestly, he just had a magical way of making things happen. And I wouldn't be where I am without him. Honestly, I, I came into this YouTube you know, world not with the intentions that this is what I was gonna do for a living. You know what I mean? I didn't know what I was gonna do and I was scared. And I, it's hard to talk to people with like a lot of things that are happening because you don't know, you, you know what I mean? I wasn't, I'm not prepared for a lot of that stuff. And if I didn't have Steve for the last couple of years to give me guidance on a lot of stuff and him looking out for me, on such important things like I said I wouldn't be here and he took me around the world like I mentioned and losing him and it's like I said it's heartbroken it's a heartbreaking and I can't talk I it's hard for me to talk about it but I'm not too sure if the London trip and MCM is going to continue I feel confident that we're going to figure it out very soon and I wanted to let you guys know that you know it's gonna be a couple of days until I post another video. And if we do end up, you know, continuing the trip to London, you know, I'm gonna make videos there in his honor and I'm gonna revisit and relive those memories that we had together, you know, and, you know, celebrate the life and the memories that we made. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know how else, I don't know how else to put it. Steve was amazing and I'm gonna miss him incredibly. And the rest of the Roosevelt's team is, you know, mourning his loss just as much as I am. He was such an amazing person and touched so many people's lives. So many people are just better because of him. Like they're just better. And I am, I'm better. I don't want to keep, you know, talking about it because, it, like I said, it's very hard to process. But I just wanted to say thank you guys as always. I have a very amazing life and I'm so blessed just to be able to have this chance to have Steve in my life just to be where I'm at now. And um, like I mentioned, I, I'm not too sure how many videos I'm going to be posting in the next couple of days. So I will keep you guys updated, you know, through, you know, probably Instagram. Uh, and if I post another video, it might be in London, like I said. And I just want to celebrate 
you know, all the memories that we made together and I want to be with the Roosevelt's crew. And I just want to be with them. That's all. I just, I want all of us to be together. So, uh, thank you guys again. And, uh, I guess we'll see you next time. And, uh, bye.